just a quick experiment uh, about controlling the uh, galvanometer using a sound signal because you know uh, a lot of uh, computers have some sort of a digital to analog converter uh, in the sound cards and so uh, the easiest way to send the signal uh, to the galvanometer is, uh, is, is through the uh, stereo jack and uh, so this is uh, an example of how this can be done over here you know just connect uh, the input uh, of one channel to X axis and the other channel to the uh, Y axis um, of course also connect the ground um, and uh, also you have to manually turn the laser on because there's no other channel to control uh, whether the laser is turned on and off so for this experiment it will be just uh, uh, on all the time and uh, the uh, stereo jack just goes through the cable uh, to uh, just a regular personal computer and uh, it is connected uh, then to the uh, headphone port and uh, when you have a video uh, just you know like that we're going to uh, first uh, max the sound because uh, we want to have uh, as uh, big voltage as we can uh, I guess for this computer it would be around plus minus one volts uh, and so with uh, the range uh, for the input signal is in plus minus 10 so we are not going to get uh, nearly a full range but we'll still see something if necessary the signal can be amplified as we've talked about using the uh, linear operational amplifier so let's just uh, play uh, the music video and it will go uh, right uh, to the galvanometer through the stereo uh, cable and so let's see what happens uh, okay the color is a little bit off on this video but uh, you can see that uh, the dot uh, starts to go around uh, and the more stereo separation there is uh, between the two channels uh, the more interesting the pattern is going to be what's even funnier is that uh, the galvanometer itself is producing a sound because the mirrors actually move so rapidly that you actually can hear the sound very clearly and uh, I don't know if you can uh, hear that but uh, let's take a look I don't know if the camera is going to capture that or not And well, that's how it works. Uh, you technically can control uh, your galvanometer using uh, any uh, uh, sound files. Uh, if you want to do that on the fly, you'll have to generate uh, the sound buffer on the fly and then send it uh, to the galvanometer. Unfortunately, the laser will have to stay on unless you find other means to control it uh, which is not going to produce uh, clear patterns uh, when you need to turn the laser off for example if you have several letters and there is empty space between them uh, there will be some traces uh, of light going from 
from one letter to another. But oh well, at least it's very easy and uh, you know, you can just go and uh, download some software uh, from uh, many sites. Uh, one example is laserboy.org and uh, start creating some uh, uh, patterns on your own. <laughs>